Hello guys, this is Modest Major here, bringing you some commentary over some Titanfall attrition gameplay. The score in the background is a 20 and 0. Takes place on the map Overlook. Overlook's a pretty great looking map. I really like the visual design of it. It's got a lot of green forestry in the background and it's very open and airy. I like it, it's a great map and I really uh, enjoy the way that the... Uh, actual gameplay flows in this map. I feel like there's a enough space for the Titans to be able to feel to some degree secure and you know do better than usual but at the same time there's plenty of escape routes for the pilots and there's plenty of height advantages that they can wield to the Titans so I feel like each faction or each class of infantry has their own weapons and their own tools at their disposal. Some of the maps in this game definitely uh, lend themselves more towards one class of infantry for example maps like Angel City and Nexus I would say favor the pilot a little bit more because there's so many escape routes alleyways houses that they can get on top of that the Titans can find themselves in a bit of a vulnerable situation to the anti-Titan weapons but then you get maps like Boneyard where there's so much open space that the pilots have a really tough time getting out in of the open and it's a pretty big map in general which I think favors the Titans but uh, this map is definitely one of my favorites in the game layout wise now I had a topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys today and it's kind of regarding what I'm planning on doing in the coming weeks and uh, I, I don't know sort of an update for you guys an update video because really I think a lot of my content's kind of up in the air right now and me myself I'm deciding what I want to do with this channel and where I want to go in the future um, obviously I did Halo 4 for such a long time and I don't want to say I have any bad blood towards the game I extremely enjoyed the game it was one of my favorite multiplayer games of all time but there is to some degree a little bit of bitterness because I just invested so much time in that game and I really wanted that community to thrive and succeed and I pretty much would have given anything at one point to just see it do well to see my friends in that community be successful with their YouTube channels and we all had a lot of passion for the game and especially the community um, and to see that kind of dwindle to some extent has been really hard to watch um, and I, I don't know, like, commentating the game in general, I feel like I did everything that I wanted to with that game, um, and I, I feel like I just met a dead end. I, I know I got a comment on my last video saying, when's the Halo content coming back, but to some extent, I'm just waiting till the next Halo game, and that might sound a little bit harsh, it might sound to some of you guys like I'm abandoning the Halo community, or giving up on the Halo community when it needs me most, or it needs commentators most, um, there's not many commentators commentating Halo in general. A lot of them moved to Titanfall. A lot of them just stopped commentating, got caught up with real life issues. You know, at this point in time, when you're going to compare real life to, you know, Halo 4, Halo 4 isn't something that has a spark of excitement right now. Something that wants you to, you know, forces you to engage all of your time into it. I know a lot of people enjoy the game still, and I totally understand that. I still enjoy the game. But there isn't this spark in the community of we have something we're working towards. We have something to get excited for. In the past, it was all about this, you know, Champions Bundle DLC. We're trying to make Ricochet work as a playlist. We had the Community Forge playlist. We had the prospects of the Global Championship and competitive games in general. Um, and that's just not necessarily there right now. And and that's a massive shame. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm not going to dance all over 343's grave or Halo 4's grave. Um, I really wish the best of luck to them in the future, and I'm obviously going to be picking up the next Halo game, and I'm obviously going to be dedicating a lot of time to it, but for the time being, for this year, you know, I didn't get into YouTube for the prospect of, uh, you know, making money, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm swapping because I can't make money in Halo YouTube now, I can't even go towards that goal, how depressing is that? Um, but I do like viewers, and I do like comments, and I do like having an audience that I can interact with. That's my favorite part of YouTube. I wouldn't do YouTube if it wasn't for the comment section, you know. When I was in secondary school, when I was growing up, I didn't have anyone to talk to games about. When I was at secondary school, nobody even owned an Xbox in my year, and that made me super bummed out because gaming was just my hobby. It was my ultimate hobby. It's what I was most passionate about, if not obsessed with, and having no one to talk about that passion with anyone at my school with anyone I knew was fairly depressing and really when I got older I, I just needed an avenue to express my opinions towards gaming my ideologies because I was just bursting with information and when I heard about YouTube that was it that was the perfect time to interact with comments interact with people in my community and keep growing and uh, you know 
it, it, it's kind of hard to do that with Halo 4, and it's kind of depressing when you get people who comment on your videos just who don't even care about the game. They're like, Halo's dead. Why do you play this game compared to Halo 3? Blah, 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 blah. And I know that's probably a vocal minority of people on my YouTube videos, but it does get me bummed out, and it kind of sucks to not have that, you know to not have that passion for the game anymore and to not have that community passion for the game we were all aligned to the same goals and the same motivations of you know we can make something of this game we could stand out we have this game that we're really proud of and we think is really special and we want to share that with other people and right now i think the pool of content for halo 4 was too small to be able to justify doing that you know we didn't have this large number of great maps on the game. We didn't have um, this large number of features in the game in terms of, you know, a, a firefight option, a great campaign. In my opinion, I didn't think the campaign was too spectacular. Uh, the DLCs themselves, um, they were kind of short-lived. And even if you do enjoy the DLCs, you know, I enjoy Skyline, you better get a player on the game. And really, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, like I said, YouTube is an avenue to... Um, express my passion for gaming and uh, i don't see halo 4 as the platform to do that right now uh, as hard as it is to say that um and i'd rather not come back to the game and come off as cynical because you know that's just what the mainstream opinion of halo 4 is right now it's a cynical negative one and a lot of the discussions regard how to improve the game how to stop this game from dying and that's just hard to get behind it's hard to get behind that movement of like well, everyone hates this game. What can we do to make a small minority of people like it? I don't know. Anyway, I've been Modest Major. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Peace out.